people who've had sx with celebrities. How was it? I know a girl that hooks up with Hannibal Buress every time he comes to Milwaukee. Edit. They met on Bumble and she said he's very sweet guy. My friend ate the dude from the wow vine with the girl vaping. I remember Vanilla Ice's answer to the question what was it life to sleep with Madonna he said it's not like she had a golden PSSY. Someone I know says they slept with Britney Spears. She had to sign a NDA. Edited to add gender of said friend. My dad dated Sarah Wayne Callies, Lori Grimes from The Walking Dead, in high school. He defines her as a very nice girl. Truth be told I don't think he remembers much of that relationship. But she came to our house party once when I was a kid and she was always really nice to me and my sister. Edit. I think it's worth mentioning the irony here. She was only around when I was a kid. Once or twice when my parents would throw house parties. Being 8 or 9? Comma I just thought of her as another adult there and didn't really care. But when I was 13 to 16 and became a huge Walking Dead fan. And never saw her around after that I was so disappointed. There were points me and my mom would be watching the show and my dad would walk in and be like. You know OP. I dated the actress who played Lori. Yes dad. I know. If only there was some way to meet her. Knew someone who slept with Leonardo DiCaprio. Apparently he kept his headphones on the entire time. Back in the zeros. Mate of mine used to shaggy every time he would come to Melbourne. I think he probably made 2-3 trips down here. We'd all make a big deal about her disappearing for a few days to shag shaggy. She had nothing but nice things to say about him, she knew she was nothing but a bit of side poon when he was in town. Full stop. I'm picturing that they were both buck naked banging on the bathroom floor. My grandmother dated Jimmy Carter. Not sure how physical things got but I've read a few of the letters he wrote. I only post this because I can't think of any other reason I would get to bring this up. The girl in the video that corporate gave us. Daryl banged her. I knew a girl who was an escort. She had sx with Derek Yetta. Afterwards he called a limo to take her home. In the limo was a gift. It was a baseball signed by Derek Yetta. Jenna Jameson kissed me on the mouth at a strip club in Ohio. That's all I got. Comma that's all I got. Count yourself lucky. A friend was part of an actor's studio playhouse in the 80s. She said Jeff Goldblum has a huge dick and is an amazing lover. They did it a few times but he let her down easy because his career was taking off and he was crazy busy. He was really cool and remembered her years later. Alec Baldwin was also hung but was super hairy and sweated a lot. Like. It was dripping into her mouth. It was too hard to ignore the sweatiness for her to enjoy it. But he was hilarious. Very bright and smelled good. Carrie Hatch. The bass player from Moingo Boingo would scream. I'm coming. Full stop. Really. Loud. Edit. Correction from my friend. Carrie Hatch was the drummer back when they were together. He broke her heart. Post Malone asked my ex-girlfriend if she would be interested in going home with him under the condition that she would have to eat his ass. If there is one person's ass I would not want to eat. My ex slept with Till from Ramstein after a gig once many many years ago when she was a gothlet. She said he was very respectful. Mildly kinky, wanted to have sx on the hotel balcony with her bent over the rail over the city so people could see, and apparently had skin as soft as a baby. Apparently he was nice. Bought her breakfast the next day. Invited her back for a second sesh the next day then moved on in his tour. She said 8 stroke 10 would star again. I hooked up with Randy Newman's son. He said I had a nice Vegina. I guess you could say that. He had a friend in you. My mom had sx with David Lee Roth. She said he smelled like sour milk and put his dirty hat on her head. Put his dirty hat on her head sounds like a euphemism. Ex Ed Twiggy Ramirez, of Marilyn Manson, around 2000 or so after a show. Apparently it was alright. His dick was huge. 
But it was over quick and then he kicked her to the curb right after to do coke or something. And yes. She was underage. Knew a girl who had Zac Efron. Had to sign an NDA. Told me he wasn't all that great in bed. I.e. the fantasy was better than the reality. Still fanboyed over him hard apparently. So much about that NDA. I had a chick who was in a target catalog. It was hot. Cutting a hole in the target catalog doesn't count. A woman I worked with had a one night stand with Captain Obvious, from Hotels.com, whom she met at a NY jazz club. She pretended that she didn't recognize him in order to prevent being seen as a gold digger. She was hoping to get into a short term relationship with him and hopefully he would give her some money and buy her a Lexus which she really wanted. Later she found out that he wasn't Captain Obvious. Just looked very much like him. I used a gender neutral bathroom with James Franco. We made eye contact and smiled at each other when we were washing our hands. I did not sleep with but did a little more than made out with Drew Barrymore the 7th of October. It was rad. A friend of mine slept with Perez Hilton. Would you be surprised if my friend said the SX wasn't very good? Edit. Paris Hilton the gossip blogger. Not Paris Hilton the heiress. Too many people think I meant Paris when I wrote Perez. On a trip to Vegas. One of my friends effed Michael Jordan. She said it was painful and fairly fast. She won't ever stop talking about it. My wife's grandmother dated Ted Bundy. Said he was a wonderful and charming guy. A friend of mine had sex with Paul Wesley. She said it was pretty good. He also took her on a short getaway trip. Seemed like a very nice guy. Ended up getting her a gift candle that was the scent of his cologne so she can remember him. A girl I went to high school with dated Jason Akua. Akua man. Shortly before Jackass 3 came out. He visited her family in WI around Thanksgiving time. But he hated WI so much that he paid her best friend to drive him to the airport in the middle of the night. I guess when he visited he was WI man. A friend told me Victoria Justice gave lap dances to some of his friends at a party the year she signed on for Victorious. Was it Dan Gett in the Van Schneider? Close to 20 years ago. My roommate hooked up with a suicide girl who came to our apartment to stay for a few days. She kept name dropping all these celebrities she knew like Slash and Trent Reznor to the point we were like. Why you lying? Then she pulled out all the pictures of her with various famous musicians. Apparently she was the secretary to someone famous for producing music and that was how she met all these dudes. Well. She was in a relationship with Maynard from Tool at the time and she left him to come live with us for a while because apparently SX with Maynard was just really eyeing bad. She later left my roommate for one of the drummers for Slipknot because he bought her a house in Texas. My roommate worked for a grocery store and just couldn't compete with the money. She did assure him that the celebrity SX was still bad. It was purely for the house. My nana was in a serious relationship with Nash of Crosby. Stills and Nash. Slept with the lady that used to do the morning news in my city this was at least 15 years ago. She is a blanket stealer and puts her cold feet right between your legs when she wants them warmed up. Now everyone knows Cassie. A co-worker's sister slept with Chris Evans before he was famous. Same town. She worked it into every conversation she could. Cos why wouldn't you? Edit. She got America's dick. Edit. I love that this is by far my most popular comment. Thanks for all the awards. A friend of a friend slept with Shawn Mendes. Apparently it wasn't something to write home about. Edit. For everyone asking. The friend was a she. I know a lot of people have questioned his sexuality, but it's something he's came out and said makes him feel very uncomfortable. So you're saying he didn't leave anyone in stitches. Girl I know slept with g -Eazy in 2015 before he was really big. He gave her chlamydia. Mayo. I'm starting to figure out people who bang celebrities aren't on reddit. 
I saw Danny DeVito cursing out a cyclist who nearly wiped him out getting out of a private cab once in San Fran. Was almost as good as SX. Friend of mine met Tiger Woods while bartending a golf charity tournament he was attending. He took her back to his hotel room and tossed her salad and had unprotected SX. This was several years before he crashed into a mailbox and divorced his wife. I know a married woman who has a child. That looks just like Tiger Woods. Not unusual except for the fact her and her husband are white. The kid isn't. And she was one of his booty calls. A buddy of mine dated a celebrity of American Pie fame. A certain foreign exchange character. He has my eternal jealousy but was a gentleman on the details. I did get to meet her and play poker at her house though. So there's that. It wasn't SX but I did beat her at a couple of hands. So that was cool. Then she cheated on him with a dance show partner. Disappointing all round I think. Semicolon. Edit. My buddy is a redditor. One of the few that I know are viral. So I am curious to see if I hear about this. My sister Red Drake. I walked into her room like 10 years ago and she was skyping him. I waved to him and said hi and he showed me the studio he was sitting in because I was skeptical. Pretty cool. I guess they met up after his show in the city we lived in at the time and then never spoke again lol. Edit. She signed a NDA. I did not. Friend girl of mine bank screwed an NBA player. The only detail I remember was that he was adamant about taking the condom with him when he left. Update. No child left behind. Yes. Crazy groupies will indeed try to impregnate themselves with used condoms as a lottery ticket. Players are instructed to never leave their men behind. Well if this thread has taught me something it's that celebrities are riddled with STDs. My friend bragged to me about getting banged by Tone Lock, funky cold Medina guy, she was 18 but seemed proud of it. About 20 years later we were watching old videos and Tone Lock came on and I asked her about it and she said it sucked. He didn't shower after coming off stage. A little smelly. Drunk and gave a few pumps and was done. Edit. Thanks for all of the comments and laughs. My friend was young and really didn't have much to compare her night with Tone Lock to. Fast forward a few decades and she now realized it was not that great. No we never slept with each other and that is good because I would not want to be compared to Tone Lock. I will let my friend check out this feed and see if she gets a chuckle also. He barely did the will thong. Not me but a friend of a friend went home with John Meyer after a party in LA. Apparently. When things were getting hot and heavy. He asked her to sing his songs to him. When she said no. He then asked if he could pee on her. She again said no and went to the bathroom to take a break. She came out of the bathroom to see him leaving. She went into her bedroom and saw he peed all over her bed. She said it was one of the worst nights she's ever had. My sister drunkenly kissed Keanu Reeves on the back of the neck. Not me. But a girl I knew slept with some F-list reality TV doucher bag. He quoted himself off the show as a chat up line and then again after he came. She described the experience as. Embarrassing. But not sure for who. I hooked up with the drummer of Slipknot when they were in town. Twice. I was working at a strip club and he wanted lap dances. He paid me to do a lap dance for like. At least an hour. It was a ton of money. We bonded in conversation in that time. He invited me to hang out at his hotel which I was still naive enough to not know if that just meant hanging out. I liked him though. We had fun. And he put me on the guest list. I went to his show the next night. Went backstage. Checked out the tour bus. And then met him at his hotel again. For the answer to how was it, he was good. It was fun. Edit. No. I'm not the suicide girl in Texas with the house. What you don't realize is the amount of NDAs floating around out there lol. A friend of mine had the Dell guy of dude. You're getting a Dell fame when we were in college. If you know who the Dell guy is. Slept with Western Kentucky's mascot after a drunken day at Churchill Downs. She refused to keep the head on. 
Still 10 stroke 10 experience. Yes. The big red blob thing. Before AIDS was a thing. A friend of mine slept with Christopher Walken. He was in town for one night and told her that's all they'd have. She was fine with that. She said he was a perfect gentleman and a very sweet lover. He kept telling her how beautiful she was and made her feel like a queen. Edit to state that the mention of AIDS was only to date the story. I should have just said it was in the early 80s. Thanks for the awards and all the comments. I thought this sweet little story would get buried. I have no more information. She's a lady and didn't talk about it more than I posted. This was nearly 35 years ago and she still adores him. It's nice to know that some celebrities are decent people. Colon. A friend met Matthew McConaughey in a club in Miami. She went home with him. Said it was meh. I slept with a well-known, now deceased, rapper when he came to Toronto a couple of times. And I stayed at his place in California for a few days as well. The SX was good but it wasn't any better than a non-celeb. He wasn't selfish in bed at all and it felt natural cause we got along. He was actually really down to earth and fun to hang out with. Mac Miller will be missed. The kid who plays Greg in the diary of a wimpy kid movie tried to my girlfriend. That's about all I got. I got it on with a star of a popular 80s sitcom. She rocked my world. To protect her anonymity. I will refer to her only as B. My mother had a one night stand with Conan back in early 2000s. They met at a bar somewhere in Texas and he bought them a hotel room. Obran? Or the Barbarian? My grandma kissed Tom Petty. I shook hands with Penn and Teller then went back to my hotel room and Ed my wife. I slept with a very famous and still popular rapper from Memphis. The SX was surprisingly good. He was very attentive and affectionate. I thought he'd be arrogant. But he was cool and made sure I enjoyed myself too. You say no to Ratchet PSS why Juicy J can't. My mom dated macho man Randy Savage. She went on one date with Steve Perry. From Journey, my favorite story though is that she used to hang with Willie Nelson and smoke it up with him. She still goes to Bandera all the time. I didn't get details. Thank goodness. But from the gist I get. She had a pretty good time with Randy Savage but wasn't all that impressed with Steve Perry. I was smoking weed with the bass player from Belfagor after a show and when my girlfriend called he politely asked if she would suck his dick. Upon learning it wouldn't happen he graciously accepted the no and we continue talking about metal. My wife has been in a couple of TV commercials. And I'm hoping that she will have SX with me one day. Soon. Please. Edit. I'm glad everyone is enjoying my dead SX life. Thanks for the rewards. I've never got one before. I don't know what they are good for. But thanks. One of my best friends met Jared Leto at a concert, not 30 seconds to Mars, and went back to his hotel with him. They banged. And he's since texted her for a booty call when he was in town again. I believe they also SXT on occasion. Edit. I used to send her articles on all of the A-list celebrities he's hooked up with. Oh look. Your Eskimo sisters with Cameron Diaz. Scarlett Johansson. And Paris Hilton. Edit 2. Thank you to the commenters who let me know that Eskimo sisters is a derogatory term. I'll be sure never to use it going forward. A friend slept with the lead singer of City and Color when they were touring university campuses in the early 2000s. She bragged about it to anyone who would listen. Gave her the all sleeping sickness. I used to know a dude who claims to have met Amanda Bynes in a mental hospital rehab. They dated for a while. He said she was. Very unstable and clingy and honestly terrifying to be with. I wish I could remember some of his stories. That's so sad. She always seemed so sweet and down to earth in real life. When the news broke of her having such bad mental health issues. My heart broke for her. I hope she's doing better now. I had the mascot for Hamburger Helper. Same. Great until they kicked me out of the wax museum. 
I knew this girl who tried to land us home but won't since he's married. I knew this other girl that Hannibal Burris tried to. But she won't since she's gay. Whack. I stood two feet away from Ethan Hawke in Tulum. Mexico at the restaurant. Artwood. And that's the closest I've been to a celebrity's genitals. I worked in DC for a congressman when Brad Pitt came to talk to Pelosi about his charity. He nodded at me when he walked by me in the rotunda. Nodded. David Castida. Plays Diego in the Umbrella Academy. This was why 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 before he was as big as he is now. He was in New Mexico filming a movie. I forget what it was called but it was an action movie. He was such a sweet guy and talked about how excited he was to be filming movies and that he couldn't believe that was where he was at. Glad he got bigger. Really a great guy. Close bracket. Edit. Third Eye Blind came to my college and a girl in my dorm banged the lead singer dude on the bus. Some girl in my high school was one of the girls at the club that got picked up and ed by one of them Jersey Shore dudes. I saw her on the TV and almost died laughing. Thanks for the votes. I'll Facebook her and tell her she's Reddit famous. There's this long standing rumor that while Timothy Chalamet was attending NYU. He gave a lot of people chlamydia. And with the amount of accounts from NYU students to corroborate this. I'm obliged to believe this. I talked to a girl once outside a music venue and we got to talking about the same topic. Celebrities and. She said her friend had SX with Atriu from the Neverending Story. They had SX on the beach somewhere in like Costa Rica. I was like that's cool. I bet he's kinda attractive as an older man. And she was like yeah he was hot. But. He gave my friend herpes. And I say. Well I guess that's a Neverending Story. A celebrity I've emsturbated to liked one of my tweets once. I won't say who. My ex dated Russell Brand. And surprisingly she said he was kinky in bed but very respectful. Thing from Adam's family once gave me a hand job. I slept with a page 3 model once. Not sure if that counts as a celebrity though. I once made eye contact with Henry Winkler in the Phoenix airport. He nodded and smiled. I came in my pants right there in front of Hudson News. It was the greatest moment of my life. I briefly dated Osa and I'm still friends with Osa the actor who played the leader of the wolf pack in the Twilight films. I'm not going to name names embarrass him. But he's also an actor on Banshee. It was perfectly normal yet solidly great SX. Though it was extremely surreal because my memories of him up until very shortly before that point were of his scenes in movies and shows I'd seen. That said. It got way less surreal pretty fast and he was just a normal human being who happened to have an interesting and exhausting life. All in all. A very positive experience. I know at least 5 people who've slept with Tom Cruise. All male. Edit. My HS sweetheart became a WWE diva. I was crazy in love. She was fun. S -Zy as hell. Things went south right when she started gaining fame. Haven't spoken to her in 15 plus years. Met my wife after I'd gotten over her. Wouldn't trade a minute I have with my family now. Hope she is happy and living her best life. I made out with Jewel State in NY once. Does that count? My auntie shagged the original Ronald McDonald. Not me but my ex cheated on me with a professional NBA player and an MLS player. Shoulder learned the first time. But shout out to your boy. It feels like I unlocked an achievement. She later became a stripper and is happily. Married to a dude who looks creepily like me. My. Now. Wife and her. At the time. Roommate. Went to see Adam Sandler at her college. This was mid to late 90s. After the show. Sandler asked both girls to get in his limo. My wife said no. But her roommate went and apparently fooled around with him. Oral. From the sounds of it. The next time he was in the area. He called the roommate again. And she drove a little ways to see him. Doesn't like Sandler was a bad guy or anything. 
But I guess celebs are still just normal people and sometimes a hookup is just a hookup. Hopefully my wife is telling the truth and she wasn't the one who went in the limo. My dad slept with Cindy Lauper. Anyone see Survivor Season 6? You know Joanna on that show? In New York City. I hooked up with a girl who looked exactly like that. An ex-friend got herpes from one of the Ebb founders. I banged Stifler's mom. I have no idea who most of these people are. My friend is banging Tom Jones. She is a 10. He is definitely using her. Also 30 year age difference. But it's not unusual. I've made endless jokes to her. I should probably lay off a little. I read that as she is 10 and even reread it confused like wait what?